This dates from the early spring of 1981. This was one of the first Macintosh prototypes. I just stuck these labels on later. The circuitry here changed many times as it was evolving. We started in early 81 and we didn't ship until January of 84, so that was three whole years. There were, I think, a total of 11 different versions of the circuit board. Here's number one. Okay, this was the first ever Macintosh circuit board. This one says number four. These are the RAM chips with the gold tops. Notice how these are spaced out compared to this one. See on this one, the RAMs are all crammed together. That's because Steve wanted to see if we couldn't make it more aesthetic. So this is the board that represents the more aesthetic layout, and guess what, it didn't work as well. He wanted the inside of the computer to look good even if no one would see it. These were prototype cases. I was in the lab, we had lots of parts and pieces. Without ever having to spend any money on anything, I put together a few machines like this. Uh, in fact, I put together one for Ken Goffman for Monda 2000 magazine. And that was their first computer. They were editing the magazine on this little Macintosh that I loaned them. Never got it back, but anyway, this is the Mac SE. This particular one, someone found it on the street. It belonged to Mickey Hart of the Grateful Dead. I never had the idea that somebody was gonna to wanna to look at them in the future. This stuff was sitting in boxes in my office. And then when I went on my leave of absence, there was no one to give them to. I wanted to go tour around Europe. Um, and I was not sure I wasn't gonna come back to Apple, but there was nobody to give this stuff to. So I held on to it. If Apple asked for it back, I would probably give it to them. <laughs>